and welcome to another episode of Todd Talks. And Todd Talks people listen, hopefully. And today is the reaction to the recent death battle of Leon S. Kennedy versus Frank West. And back in the winner's circle, baby. Woo! Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's funny watching. I, I did a very detailed breakdown of uh, Leon and uh, Frank. And thank you for all who watched it. Um, okay, just a slight pause. There, that video, uh, the, the preview video I did, was like my most commented video in my string of Todd Talks. Not because a lot of people, you know, just wanted to comment on the video. Apparently, like, three or four of you got into, like, this verbal war. So, okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, I know that you can do that here. It's just, I just wasn't expecting it. Because seriously, if you go to that video, you'll see... Like, two, literally, two comments that have strings. One of them is me and my buddy Natsu. Uh, hey, we're back in the winter circle, buddy. And uh, then, you know, not. And then there's, like, the other one. It's, like, like 62 some odd comments just in that little thing. Of people, like, back and forth about Leon and Frank. It was very entertaining to read and see. So, hey, if you want to keep doing that, by all means. Uh, anyway, but yes, Leon S. Kennedy did win, and it, watching the video, I would I was went from both very confident to that uh, Leon was gonna win to mm, slightly less confident because they really uh, the biggest question that I had, uh, which I, I noted in my preview, was what would they allow? Sorry, what would they allow Frank to have? I mean, I didn't even mention the outfits because I thought that would be you know. <sighs> Not cheating per se, but um, an extravagant uh, use. And uh, uh, someone else in the comments actually mentioned, you know, like, like one of his weapons was DLC only. So would they allow that to have? have ha sorry, allow him to have that? And then like they showed like you know the unicorn rocket thing, and this is like he's got such these these crazy weapons. I mean, what will what will they allow him to have and whatnot? But apparently it didn't matter in the end. And I was right in saying that his uh, Leon's experience of 15 years of being, you know, an, an officer of the law, a special agent, a bodyguard to the president, you know, doing all these extreme missions and fighting the the BOWs, the bio organic weapons, um, was just too much for Frank. And of course, because he's fought all this crap, you know, Leon can take on anything that. Frank throws at him. Yeah, he'll probably get thrown by like that uh, slushy machine exosuit. But you know, when it takes when all, it, all it takes is a headshot to kill a guy. Yeah, Leon's got that covered. So uh, as for the battle itself, it was actually very entertaining. Um, I actually had a Twitter chat with the guy who voiced Frank on t on a, on Twitter, and uh, it was he was a very nice guy. He was talking about how it was a blast to voice Frank West, and he was very happy that the battle came out well. So, oh, my favorite exchange was, um, the, of course, the classic Frank West line is, he's covered wars, you know, or I've covered wars, you know. And so they did that naturally in the death battle, and he go, they go, I've covered wars, you know. And Leon goes, that's nice, but I've been in them. And I'm like, that's the perfect counter! It's the perfect counter! So yeah, that was that was a really cool moment. I uh, won't lie. Um, yeah, but it I was fully expecting this one to be a two D death battle, or sorry, three D death battle because these two were born in three D. Um, didn't happen, but you know maybe that was for the best. Um, but you know it was it was very good. I mean, the 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 uh, incorporation of zombies, which is uh, kind of like what happened with uh, Jill Valentine and Laura Croft and the DBX they did a while back. Uh, that was that was a nice touch, and you know it wasn't like a super you know relevant, but it didn't like super affect the fight, which is what obviously would not happen because that would that would be cheating in the highest regard. Um, so you know the, the, I like the banter between the two, the use of the weapons and everything. Uh, Leon just dispatching all of the fusion weapons with his knife, which is really cool, and then. Uh, you know, like, got him in the frozen tornado, and you're like, oh my gosh, is Leon gonna die? And, and then, you know, got, gets the rocket launcher, game over! Yeah. You know? And Frank was like, ah, crap. So, <laughs> that was really, really cool. So, you know, a very fun little death battle, uh, the death battle itself. The episode was really good, and I like the, I like the breakdown and everything, so, uh, I hope this answers some questions. I know there's some Frank West fans who are, of course, very sad, but hey, you know, Frank's died before, so... Let's just move on. And speaking of moving on, I am pumped for the next death battle. I mean, 
this is a death battle I've requested. Like I have personally requested this death battle. It is Doctor Strange versus Doctor Fate. That's right. We're back to DC versus Marvel. But this is this might just be one of the most epic death battles ever, potentially. Potentially. Um, just, a, just a small preview. I think this is actually going to be one of the most complicated death battles ever. Because think about it. These are two guys who are masters of the mystical arts from two different universes. Which means the rules of one will not apply to the rules of the other, per se. And so it's going to be it's going to be a beast to see um, how uh, how should I say this? how they explain what happens because again Doctor Strange's magic is not the same as Doctor Fate's magic and vice versa. They draw their powers from different sources. They have different spells they use. They have different ways of summoning those spells, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, it's gonna, it's going to be very complicated, and I think this one could be. Both very fun, but also highly controversial, depending on how you interpret these characters. So, I am going to have to do some very deep research for my preview video. You can be sure of that. But I am very excited because I really have wanted to see this battle for a long time. And I don't know if it's 2D or 3D. I honestly haven't looked, but uh, haven't had time. But I am very excited for it. And regardless of whether it's 2D or 3D, I can't wait to see it. It's, it's three weeks away. Um, but with that, I am ending this episode of Todd Talk. What did you think of uh, Leon versus Frank? Uh, did, were you satisfied with it? Did you like the, the 2D death battle that went with it? Do you agree with it? And what do you think about Strange vs. Fate coming up? Again, I'm very excited. Just let me know in the comments below. So, I uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I know you were listening, and I will see you around.